हेलो फ्रेंड्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द कंपोजिशन ऑफ ब्लड दैट इज व्हाट इज प्रेजेंट विद इन ब्लड रिगार्डिंग द कंटेंट्स दैट मींस व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टुडे दैट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ ब्लड डिफरेंट कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ ब्लड रेफरेंसेस फॉर योर फर्दर स्टडी एंड देयर आर फ्यू क्वेश्चंस बाय आंसरिंग व्हिच यू विल टेस्ट योरसेल्फ व्हाट इज ब्लड blood is a red semi solid connective tissue it is red because it contains a, a pigment that is present within it that is called hemoglobin hemoglobin contains iron now it is semi solid because uh, it is neither liquid nor solid like jelly like substance and it's a connective tissue because it carries nutrients and oxygen all throughout our body which helps in the metabolism and the nutrition of our body and it also carries out or drains out the waste products of the metabolism like carbon dioxide and all uh, from the cell and the tissues to their excretory part so all the blood cells are made in red bone marrow now we know that there are two types of bone marrow one is uh, red bone marrow and another one is yellow bone marrow red bone marrow is a mature one and it's responsible for the formation of different types of blood cells and this process of formation of uh, blood cells is called hematopoiesis the composition of blood is uh, given here in the form of a flow chart which is very important to understand that is the blood is made up of two parts that is plasma 55% and blood cell 45% so the amount of plasma is higher than the blood cells now the plasma is can be again subdivided into 92% of water and dissolved substances that means there are some substances which are dissolved within the plasma uh, that are salts foods like glucose amino acids few hormones proteins basically fibrinogen and albumin which are called plasma proteins and the waste products waste products are mainly carbon dioxide and urea now the red Uh, blood cells white blood cells and platelets are the classification of the blood cells which constitute the 45% of the total blood and uh, uh, we will going to see that the uh, white blood cells have further classifications like uh, granulocyte and granulocytes and all regarding the composition of plasma it is a yellow colored uh, fluid that uh, contains almost 92 to 94 percent of uh, uh, water, which actually gives the plasma a watery appearance, and soluble substance is six to seven percent. Uh, there are hormones, enzyme, proteins, etc. And uh, uh, the importance of the plasma is it contains some proteins which are called plasma proteins, and main plasma proteins are albumin, fibrinogen, and globulin. Albumin is formed in the liver and it constitutes 65 percent of the total plasma proteins. It actually helps in the uh, maintenance of the blood pressure. Uh, then uh, it uh, it uh, helps to maintain the osmotic pressure of the blood and all. The, there are globulins. Three types of globulins are there: alpha, beta, and gamma globulin. Fibrinogen, very important coagulation factor, and the plasma contains a number of enzymes like acid phosphatase and alkaline phosphatase. which helps in the diagnosis of various hematological disorders now red blood cells or erythrocytes as the figure depicts that the side view of the red blood cell and the top view of the red blood cell it's uh, 7.5 micrometer in diameter and uh, it constitutes almost half of the total uh, blood cells and uh, as we all know that uh, red blood cells are very important because uh, it's only the hemoglobin which is present within the red blood cell that can carry oxygen all throughout the body and also can carry out carbon dioxide from the different parts of the body for excretion blood cells that is the leukocytes so these are the largest among all the blood cells of the body and uh, the normal value is 4000 to 11000 per microliter of blood so there are three granulocytes present neutrophils eosinophils and basophils and they have their different functions all are written here and the neutrophils as we see under the high power objective of the microscope it looks like uh, something 
these are the neutrophils containing lobes these are the eosinophils the red color of the eosin and it gives the name it also contains two lobes then the basophil the nucleus is very hazy with uh, lots and lots of granules and the uh, granulocytes are of two types monocyte and lymphocyte lymphocyte is almost round shaped nucleus within and monocyte is within kidney shaped or bean shaped nucleus so these are a few informations about the lymphocytes and monocytes they form the defense mechanism of our body which is very important let's so this is the function of plate uh, this is the uh, picture of platelet this is a resting platelet means when the platelet is not engaged in coagulation activity and this is the activated platelet that means when the uh, platelet is very much involved in coagulation we know that this uh, platelets are actually uh, very much important for the uh, coagulation process of our body that means whenever there is a shedding of blood from any parts of our body these platelets accumulate there they form the thread like structure and they trap all the blood cells so that they, they cannot be lost from our body so in this way they helps to maintain the blood volume of our body these are the references that is given for your further study if you want to know more now the time to test yourself there are a few questions given which you have to answer by yourself Thank you very much for your patient watching. So long. Bye bye.